Hello and welcome to my video blog on learning how to play a musical instrument and in particular the acoustic guitar. Uh, in this particular video I'm going to talk about my own course and how it compares to some of the other things that I've talked about before. So just to quickly review in case you didn't see all of those videos. You know a lot of people do take up guitar and, and they try to learn it in various ways. Um, of course some people succeed and they uh, are playing guitar before you know it and others uh, don't succeed and so I was trying to analyze for you what are some of the characteristics of the approaches that people who succeed have been taking and what are kind of the success oriented strategies that you can employ. So I'm going to zoom through a quick review of some of the things that have gone before in some of those videos again in case you didn't see them. Um, starting with when you're learning how to play an instrument, you want to make sure that you've got one that's appropriate to a beginner. Um, so uh, I did some discussion of whether you should think about getting a brand new guitar or is a second hand guitar okay. But the main thing was to be sure that you end up with a guitar that's appropriate to a beginner because if you end up with a guitar that's in poor condition or not set up right, or isn't right for you, you'll spend just unnecessary effort fighting the shortcomings of the guitar. You know, it's hard enough to learn to play a musical instrument. You don't want to be fighting it as well. So that was important. And then um, I talked a lot about setting the proper expectation to learn. In other words, you have to recognize going into it that it's going to require some effort on your part, some patience, uh, and um, going into it with that expectation is important because learning the fundamentals of a musical instrument does take some time and effort. And then uh, in subsequent videos I talked about your various learning options, the way people go about learning to play guitar. There's lots of ways to learn and many of them are uh, can work. Uh, some perhaps are better than others and some might be better for you than others. So what I've been trying to do is give you the information that you need to make a decision what might be best for you. So we talked about people who kind of go it alone and maybe they graze YouTube and, and, and figure out how to play that way or try to figure out how to play that way. That's kind of one stream, the one extreme you're very um, casual learner. Um, the other extreme might be somebody who's taking private lessons and showing up at someone's studio and, and really going for it that way. And there, there's lots of ways in between uh, that you could take. Some people take uh, structured courses online, uh, which is what I teach. And I'm going to be talking about more in a minute or two here. So lots of ways to, to go about learning and, and they, they all can be effective if done right. Uh, but some might be better for you than others. Now, if you're going to go the route of, of um, taking private lessons, then I've talked to you a little bit about what you might want to look for in a teacher. Uh, if you're going to be taking an online course, uh, I talked about what to look for in the online course. What are the uh, things that are important there? So talking about my course, which is called the Beginner's Guide to Acoustic Guitar, which is taught at Artist Works. Uh, since I've been going over the various uh, things that I consider important about uh, a course, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the approaches that I've taken uh, with my course because uh, you want to see if I kind of practice what I preach, if you will. So what I told you before you should look for if you were going to take an online course is that it's kind of appropriate to your level and it's complete. Uh, if you're just starting out as a beginner, you want to make sure that it you know, has lessons just for the beginner that don't make any assumptions that you know some things already. Um, so you want that and you want it to be complete, go step by step, leave no gaps, and be progressive. You want the you know, easy basic lessons at the beginning and step by step, little by little, you progress to the more, um, uh, uh, to, to the other concepts. You want to be sure that you're learning how to play the guitar, not just learning how to put your fingers and play a single song. Um, some people do take the song approach, but unfortunately when you've learned one song, you don't really know how to play another song until you painfully go through that process. 
So a better approach to take is to learn the underlying techniques of all songs. So that's very, very important. And of course, other things you want to consider when you're thinking about taking a course is how much it costs and whether you can start and stop the course uh, as your schedule dictates that you need to. So let's see if my course measures up to all of those things. So my course is kind of in that uh, hybrid area between private lessons and just a course that you might just take with that's a one way course where you just watch videos and try to mimic what you see. Um, my course lays somewhere in the middle there. Uh, so let's go over. Um, first of all, you, you want to select the right teacher when you're getting a course. And so you want to pick somebody experienced. And of course, I've had many, many years of experience as a player and as a teacher. Um, in terms of the course itself, in my course, I don't presume that my students know anything at all about playing an instrument or the guitar when they start out. So I start at the most basic point, getting your first instrument or taking an old instrument and making sure it's right for you, make sure it's right for, for you to learn on, how to hold it properly, how to get it tuned up. And then the lessons progress step by step and students go along at their own pace. And the course objective that I've created here is not simply to teach just a handful of, of songs, but it's rather to teach you the, un, the fundamental techniques that once learned, it'll enable you to play songs of your own choosing. You know, for example, you may have heard something like, hey, all you have to do is learn three chords and you can play hundreds of songs. Well, that's basically true. But what I do is I teach you the underlying relationship between those three chords and how to apply that knowledge in a practical way so that it opens the door to learning all of those other songs. So it's one thing to say it. It's another thing to learn it, understand it, and then be able to apply it. So that's what I'm all about teaching. Uh, to help out, my course provides study guides, notation, play along tracks to make practicing more fun and also listening lists that kind of pull everything all together for you uh, by, by listening to uh, the songs that I recommend you learn how one song is similar to another and it helps you understand the underlying concepts better. Also, I frequently add new material to the course and I interact with and encourage my students uh, all the time. We have a community there uh, and we have our own it's kind of a Twitter-like thing called the Shoutbox. Uh, we have forums. And of course, with ArtistWorks, we have the video exchange feature, which is optional on my course, but it allows you to uh, send a video to me that I'll take a look at, and I'll give it my full attention, and uh, then I'll give you some uh, assessment and feedback on what I've seen and tell you what you should do to, to uh, correct anything that I see that's wrong and what to do next. My course is offered at a very family-friendly monthly price, so there's no long-term commitments, so it's easy for you to come in and out as your schedule um, permits, but most of my students kind of come in and just make it part of their lifestyle because you know, learning a guitar just takes some time, and so they're, they're in it to actually learn. And I'm always there to connect the dots, answer questions, fill in any gaps that you see, and make it as fun as possible. So that's my approach. Uh, and if it seems reasonable to you, I hope that you'll check it out further and maybe even join us. <laughs>